So, today I thought I'd do a sort of tech tips type video. And today we're going to be doing a tech tips video on how you can improve performance in Caden Live. Indeed, one of the biggest complaints I hear from people when they switch to Caden Live is that performance isn't very good. And indeed, out of the box, it's not that great. What we have here is a sort of stock and standard Caden Live install, and today I'm going to show you how you can get better performance out of it, like, you know, faster render times, better speed while editing, that sort of thing. So first, let's go ahead and drag and drop a video in. This is a 1080p 30 second video. As you can see, Cable Live has detected it is indeed 1080p. So let's go ahead and just see how this plays back. Now, this doesn't have any proxy clips or anything. And playing back, you can see, yeah, that's more or less fine. It's dropping a few frames here and there. But as a whole, the editing experience is pretty good. And of course, a lot of the lost performance might be because I'm you know, using simple screen recorder. If we go ahead and, uh, you know, move the cursor head around, it's pretty slow. Yeah, it's not great. Um, but if you wanted to do simple cuts and stuff like this, it would probably be fine. But let's go ahead and put a blur on it now and see what it performs like. Let's make quite a strong blur. And then let's play it back. And as you can see, yeah, that's very slow. It's not good at all. And if we start moving the cursor head around, yeah, similar thing. So let's go ahead and render this and see what kind of speeds we get. So let's just... Um, yeah, let's render it out as an mp4, and let's just leave it in the default folder. This is all the default rendering speeds. As you can see, the encoder speed is set where it would be def by default. Threads is set to 1, and the quality is set as normal. So let's just go ahead and render that out and see what happens. Now I'm going to pause the, you know, simple screen recorder while this renders, so I'll see you in a second. Well, here we are, we're back, and as you can see, we got a total rendering time of a minute. Now that might not seem too bad here, and indeed it's probably not because this is quite an exaggerated example and we use the blur effect across the whole video. But that's not great either because that's a minute, that's double the length of the video that we were editing. Which if you're editing like longer videos with lots of effects and stuff, that does start to add up. And as you can see, performance wasn't too great when we actually were editing. So the experience out of the box is not so good. However, thankfully there's a lot that you can do to improve your performance and rendering speeds. And I'll uh, go ahead and show you how you would do that. So the first thing that you want to do is make sure that Caden Live is using all of your hardware. So go into the Run Config wizard and then check Hardware Acceleration. As, it can, as you can see, it's detected that we're using NVIDIA, which is correct. And the next thing you really want to do is go into Configure Caden Live. And now this is the biggest thing like, which will give you a huge performance boost. You want to go ahead and enable Proxy Clips. And then also set to generate videos for larger than a certain amount. So for instance, you might not want lower resolution videos to render a proxy clip, but it's just my preference. And of course, what this will do is when you import your video into Caden Live, it will go ahead and render an easier to process version of it. So for instance, you can see here that we're using MJPEG, which is a lot easier to process than whatever all, like other video format you might have imported into Caden Live. And this will essentially make playing back and editing everything much faster. You can also set it to do it for images too, but there's less benefit in that. And once you've done that, the next thing that you really want to go ahead and do is hit apply on that and then leave that settings menu. Now, you're going to have to close and reopen Caden Live for this to apply, so we're just going to go ahead and do that. And here we are back in Caden Live. As you can see, it is rendering a proxy clip for the video that we imported last time. So if we go ahead and drag and drop this back into the timeline, and as you can see, immediately it's a lot smoother playing it back. And if we go ahead and hit play, yeah, that's pretty much playing it back perfectly. Makes a huge difference. So let's go ahead and just put our um, blur effect on there as well, so you can see what everything looks like with effects. And as you can see, it's not playing it back totally smooth, but it's still vastly better than it was. Like, of course, you probably won't be putting blurs on everything, but... There you go, it works really well. Now the next thing that you want to do, if you want better performance in Caden Live, is improve your rendering times. So let's go ahead and the rendering menu. Now there's a lot you can do here, but for my workflow, the best I can really do is set it to MP4, go into more settings, set the encoder speed all the way up, and make sure that it's using all four threads. Additionally, unless storage space is an issue, you probably want to like put the quality slider all the way up. Now I do just want to say, depending on your hardware, there may be more that you can do to improve performance in both the settings menu and the rendering menu. So for instance, you can actually download more rendering profiles, 
and there was one in here specifically for Intel graphics, which will presumably give you better performance. Yeah, you can see here, export to MP4 with Intel acceleration. But with that said, let's go ahead and see what kind of performance we get with these settings. And you want to make sure the encoder speed and rendering is indeed all the way up, and then you want to hit rendering. And of course, we've already got that file, but I'll go ahead and stop recording and see what kind of time we get. And here we go, as you can see, after changing all of those settings, we've got a rendering speed of 27 seconds, which is just under half of what we got last time, and is pretty much the length of the video. Which if you're uh, editing a, like, a much longer video, that really does make a huge difference. But as well as that, as you could see, we got much faster like editing speeds, much faster playback speeds in Caden Live, and just generally a better experience. Which I've got to say, Caden Live really does continue to amaze me. It's a really configurable piece of software, and I have no doubt that if you went in and changed more settings, you could probably get even better performance. But with that said, I think that's it for today's video. I hope you found it useful, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.